Greetings. Hope everyone is having a good weekend. I would like to start off by thanking Eric of JW Struggle for calling attention to my YouTube channel. And also Brother Arp7601 and Christ Only for mirroring the 607 series. Thanks a million. I would like to talk today about the fact that I was a door-to-door -door salesman. I was a door-to-door -door magazine salesman. And I didn't even know it. That might seem bizarre. However, if for those who remember who were a witness in 1990 and before that, you will remember selling magazines from door to door in publications. You might go and give a presentation like, Hello, my name is Lando Malari. I'm here today to talk about topic XYZ. Have you ever thought about topic XYZ? Well, let me read a scripture about it. And then you would end with, If you would like to learn more, we are offering this magazine that talks about the subject of the Watchtower and Awake for 50 cents. Now, by any measure, that's selling. Of course, we were told, oh, you're not selling magazines, or you're not selling publications, because the books would cost a bit more. But in any definition of selling, that's indeed what we were doing. We were uh, offering a product to a person which they could have in exchange for money. Of course, we weren't making money off of this. We were personally breaking even. But if you remember, back in the day, the Kingdom Halls were even structured around this arrangement. You might have a magazine room, and then you would have a literature room for the other publications. And these were locked. Maybe they had cabinets which locked, and uh, nobody could get behind there but the servants. And you would wait in your turn in line. You would select a publication. You would give the servant money he would give you change you would pick up your literature then your goal would be ideally to break even of course uh publish i mean pioneers got a slight discount on the publications if you think about how the whole organization has been structured of course it's slightly been changed in recent years but you had circuits you had districts you had branches you had zones and then you had headquarters and so forth. So um, that that's uh, that's indeed centered around a sales organization for sure, and the terminology we use. And a lot of this stuff is still legacy. It's still used today. Publishers and placing literature and presentations, and of course, a lot of the meetings are structured around giving a pitch, a thirty to sixty second pitch or presentation and um, uh, f for this. And of course, in a theocratic ministry school, you learn a effective speaking tips in order to be a more effective preacher of the good news slash salesman. Of course, the sales, the money part of the arrangement um, changed in 1990. There was a court case involving Jimmy Swaggart, who was being investigated for making money off his publications and selling them and they were looking into taxing him and the watchtower even filed a friend of the court on his behalf of that court case but they saw the writing on the wall and they made an abrupt change what is interesting is that was the west branch but that wasn't necessarily other branches, in particular branches in the third world. Uh, many of these places, the selling of literature went, continued. And, you know, unfortunately, people who weren't well off would trade eggs and other things if they didn't have money for the magazines. Perhaps today that is entirely gone. But even at the conventions, you would wait in line and prior to the change in 1990 and you couldn't just go up and pick up a book 
you had to wait in line and buy, you know, you'd give the person money and you would get the publication, new publication. And then, of course, you know, you would purchase thing, you know, food, the food arrangement. You would go and you, it would be like you went, you're going to a fair or a, um, I don't know, um, well, I guess, yeah, like the county fair or a carnival or something. Um, you would go and you would purchase food tickets. Then you could take those food tickets and you could get your hoagie or, or your burrito and your, or your Shasta soda or your Swiss Miss that was, or your cheese Danish. Uh, I particularly like those last two. But you would buy food and they would sell it to you. It was a business arrangement. And of course, you know, for parking, you know, you would have to work out that, you know, purchase parking tickets. It indeed was a business enterprise. What's interesting is that the Watchtower is engaged today, you know, it has been engaged even since 1990 in stocks and hedge funds and circuit leasing. And of course, my mother-in-law and her sister purchased cars through the circuit leasing program. And at the time, as a witness, I wondered, well, why is God's organization engaged in selling cars? That was really confusing. And there seems to be a whole business that uh, revolves around international conventions. And I remember as a witness, uh, that kind of bothered me, that there seemed to be businesses that grew up around that. Because, you know, for the average rank and file witness, if they walk, they couldn't even walk into the Kingdom Hall and say, oh, here's, here's a card, uh, I, I'm in this such and such business. Uh, you know, you frequently, the whole thing about Jesus throwing out of the temple the money makers and the money changers is brought up. You know, that, you know, you're making God's house a thief of dens, or a den of thieves, rather. But, indeed, it's integral to the history of this organization from 1879 uh, that its central purpose up until 1990 was the selling of Watchtower publications and its adherents were uh, actively involved in hawking its products. Um, but, you know, it's bizarre when I look back and realize I used to sell magazines from door to door. What's more bizarre? I didn't believe I was selling magazines from door to door. Even uh, as people would tell me at school or in the door-to-door -door ministry itself. Of course, I thought I was preaching the good news, uh, but they would be like to tell me, well, you, you know, that I'm soliciting, that I'm selling literature. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not, I don't sell literature. I don't sell magazines from door-to-door, -door, but that is precisely what I was doing. Um, of course, I, that was the only environment I knew it didn't seem as bizarre as it would be to someone from the outside looking in, perhaps. Um, well, that's all I have to say about that, that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, uh, live long and prosper, everyone, and hope you all have a good weekend.